And after that win last night, we also managed to catch up with two former England internationals, Jamie Redknapp and Micah Richards. Now, if you're wondering why they're dressed in overalls, and in, in fairness, they, they make them look quite good, actually. <laughs> they're well-dressed men. Uh, they've just come off setting off the set of filming League of Their Own. This is inspiring a generation. This is amazing stuff. To be fair, though, I, I expected it. If you look Did at you? The, the players that they got in this team, I wasn't nervous. I watched Spain in the last round. It wasn't that great. I think with the quality that England have, I always was confident. Why, why can't they go and win it, for sure? Yeah. Brave decisions from the manager, though. Yeah. When we were like Beth Mead, one of our obviously best players. And, yeah. and don't get me, I think now I expect her to, to have a really good rest of, of the Euros. But it was a brave decision to take off a player like that. But it just, she seems to be able to do everything right. You know, the manager just knows what she's doing. The team are playing for her. And it was huge today because Spain technically were probably marginally Good. a little yeah. bit better than us. But when you think about the men's side a lot of the time, we don't probably, we don't normally win those games. So I think they showed so much determination. It was a brilliant result. But it's just for confidence as well. You know, like, why can't they just go and believe they can do it now? Mm. If they beat Spain, they can beat anyone. And that's not like being big headed or being sort of complacent. Just go out there and believe. I believe in these girls for sure. They've been brilliant. And why not go all the way? But would it be England if they didn't make it half for themselves? Well, England always make it hard for themselves. Even the men's side, obviously, get into a, a semis and a, and a final of the Euros. But, yeah, we'll support them all the way. And hopefully they can bring it home. And I, and I don't want to start that ridiculous trend of it's, it's coming home. But it'd be nice if it came home, wouldn't it, Jay? It would be, I don't want to start singing that song. <laughs> I don't want to start singing that song just yet, big man. But I know where you're going on this. Yeah. No, no, but it was great. It really was. And I think it's, as I said, it's... When I think back to how women's football's developed sort of mm. 20, 30 years ago, there wasn't role models like there are now. You know, you, it, it's, it's inspirational for, for young girls to think, I can do that. You can touch it, you can see it. I can, I can be that person. I could be the next Beth Mead. And it's so good. And so I think we should be so proud. I hope that they're ready. They've got a, I'm sure there'll be ice baths, massages, getting themselves ready for the next games to come. Sweden or... Um, next, uh, Belgium. Sweden or Belgium. Belgium. Yeah, so that's going to be that's gonna be tough. So, but... I think having a struggle like they did today might just relax them. So exciting. I'm so, so happy for them. Can they win it, Jay? Come on. Of course they can win it. Of course they yeah, can. Yeah, I think do today, it. I've got to be honest, Michael, when I was watching that game earlier on, I was thinking, it just might be the one that does us. Yeah. And just don't want that excitement to stop. You know, this is so good for everybody involved. It lifts the nation. The weather's good. This is what we want to see. So, yeah, amazing day. And it's so exciting. I was going to ask you, obviously they beat Norway 8-0 earlier on in the group, but... Beats in Spain in extra time, coming from behind. They're going to learn so much more from a game like that, aren't they? Yeah, without a doubt. That was, a, but there was a proper test today. You learn about your mentality. I'm sure Mike has been in teams, as I certainly have, when you're up against it and you've got to really dig in and you've got to make sure you fight for every second of the, of the game. And they were brilliant today. They were just fantastic, and you know the energy that they showed as well. And, and the manager, you know, because it's big. When you, when you change the manager, you don't know how it's going to go. Of but course. she's been brilliant. I think they're the the, the, the biggest games. You know, winning eight nil is okay, but when you come up against a, a technical Spanish side, you know it's going to be tough. And that's where you learn the mm. most. But when you overcome them obstacles, that's when it gives you the real belief. And they've got to believe now. I believe in them, so mm. why not? So Tuesday, Sweden or Belgium, and then the following Sunday, it's the final. Are we going to see England there? And uh, I guess the question is, can they do it? Let's not tempt fate. You know what I mean? Let's not tempt fate. Wait a minute ago, well, you said it's coming home. Well, no, no, I said it. No, I'd like for it to come home, but yeah. I, don't, I don't want to tempt fate. I think they've got the players to do it. You know what I mean? I mean, mm. when we was in the Euros and we was egging England on, and we thought they would do it. You know, and they only lost the men's by penalties, but... Why not? Why not? Because the women's yeah. can do it. They've got enough I, quality in that squad, yeah, Jamie. I also yeah. think that sometimes, you know, like the manager, when you've got the manager that's making big decisions mm. and you know that she's brave enough to take off, one of the best players, I think, because the rest of the team, everyone's on their toes. Mm. It paid off, could have gone wrong. Mm. So I think that's a really big moment as well, not just for, the, for her, for the team, for the manager. And it feels like a bit of a pivotal moment that we can still sure. go on and win. And... You know, and I'm sure the first thing you should do tomorrow is say to Beth, like, you know, listen, it wasn't your best hour mm -hmm. of football, but we know for the rest of the tournament you're so important to us because I've got that feeling if we win it, she's going to be the person that's going to be the decisive, you know, either pass or goal. She's that sort of player.